Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at a balance burr, a brewing method that was originally invented in around 1850. Uh, this model we're using today is a modern take on the uh, old styles. This one runs on springs instead of counterweight. So first I'm going to be adding 700 mils of uh, just off boil water. If you notice, the, the springs are compressing at this point and it's weighing down the kettle. That's part of what makes this an automatic coffee maker. Uh, fill it up with the 700 mils. And the next step is we're going to be um, adding the uh, filter and spigot. And this gasket is a bit soft. I actually need to replace it. Uh, as you can see, it kind of doesn't fully sit in tight. When it heats up, it actually expands a bit, so it is functional. Uh, it also helps with brewing later. The next thing is I'm going to be opening up the uh, spring-loaded cap. This is actually what makes it automatic. When the kettle is weighted down with water, it um, uh, keeps the cap open. When the kettle doesn't have any more water in it, it lifts up and the cap closes automatically. But here that's uh, 49 grams of coffee, 7 grams per 100 ml. And you want to stir it a bit. I'm going to stir it here to uh, kind of level it out. Next, I'm going to be adding fire. Now, I'm using an alcohol burner here, and it does create a bit of soot. You can actually see it here. It's going to be forming soon. Uh, this is 91% pure. If you use 99% pure isopropyl, it should burn cleaner. Um, it's not too difficult to clean off, but you know it is, it, it is an issue. So you're going to find a clean fuel source. I'm going to be... Uh, skipping forward in this just in a moment uh, because even with the hot water initially this does take about two three minutes to to uh, get hot enough where it's creating steam and the steam starts pushing uh, the water over into the brewing side the glass side and uh, you should be seeing this happening right now so what's happening here is that the uh, steam in the kettle is forcing water up the siphon tube over to the glass portion where the brewing starts. Now at this stage you want to stir it just a bit. You want to saturate the grounds uh, as much as you can uh, and then otherwise let the device do what it does. All right, now keep an eye on the kettle on the right side and the springs. You can see that they're uncompressing a bit. They're actually in those three arms that the kettle sits on. And once it goes up to a certain point, you'll see the cap shuts. That's what makes it an automatic coffee burr. And uh, the older ones work with counterweights. Um, this one here works with springs, but they work pretty much on the same principle. So now the uh, water in the kettle is cooling slightly. The steam is converting back to water. And what it's doing is it's creating a vacuum and starting to suck the liquid back over, as you can see. And also the kettle's getting heavier, so it's compressing down on the springs. And I mentioned earlier that this particular model, the gasket, is a bit soft. Uh, and what it does is, uh, at a certain point, the vacuum that's created in that kettle some air is being drawn through the top because of the soft gasket. I don't mind that because these actually don't brew long enough to get a proper extraction uh, if everything was tight. Uh, at this point, all that coffee, brewed coffee, would be back over in the kettle side. But because it's a little bit loose, it's actually slowing down, drawing the coffee back over to the kettle side. And that means that it's doing a bit more extraction and it's creating a better cup of coffee. So. I've been on the fence whether I should replace the gasket in this, but I've decided not to just because it draws out the, um, the brewing and the extraction a bit. Normally this would take about 30, 45 seconds once the heat source is removed for the, the coffee to move over. In this case, it's going to take about a minute, maybe a minute 10. and. Uh, 
overall it just leads to a better cup with this particular model. As you can see here, it's almost all drawn over. There's going to be a little bit of liquid left over on the left side because the filter itself doesn't fully sit down into the bottom of that glass container. Uh, but what it's doing now is it's essentially vacuuming dry the, uh, the grounds. The next stage is uh, we're about ready, I think, at this point to serve. So let's put the glass under the spigot, open the spigot, and I also have to create a way for air to go into the kettle. So let's loosen the cap up top just a bit. And there we go. Serve out your coffee, turn the spigot closed. Once you get to the amount you want, We have it a balanced brewer in action brews a pretty nice cup of coffee